Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Python on your Mac using Visual Studio Code. So you can code a project in VS Code. Pretty cool stuff. So this is on Mac. I'll show you how to do it on Windows in a separate video. Process is a tad little different. So I, you know, just prefer to create separate videos so you're all covered. So the first thing that you want to do is install Python. Mac by default will have a version of Python. It will probably be an older version like version 2. So you want to install a newer version. So if you just go to python.org, I'll provide a link in the description. Go to downloads. Select the latest version, which for me is 3.11.0 or 3.11.0. I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. I thought I already had it. Nope. I did not. I must have deleted it. Okay, so let me just go back. Click download. And here we go. So I'm just going to click that. Click continue. 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 Click agree. Click install. Type in my password to install it. You install it. Or usually it opens up the applications folder as well after it's installed. And before we actually start in Visual Studio Code, we'll confirm that it's installed and linked up. If we open up Terminal, you can open it up via, that's fine, via your search as well, just by typing in Terminal. I'm just going to type in Python dash dash version. Boom, we got the latest version, so we're all good to go. Okay, so that's good stuff, and we're happy with that. Next, what you want to do is make sure you have VS Code installed. Let's go to here, click download. Uh, you know, it's a you know, really simple installation. It's not complex. I'll leave that to you guys. Just, you know, drag and drop it. Now, what you can do is open up VS Code. And we're going to click open. Go to my desktop. I'm just going to, you know, create a test, you know, folder there. So I'm going to call Python dash test and open that. And before we start coding, we need to install a Python extension. Because if we don't, this literally will just act as a dummy editor and we'll have to be compiling it using the terminal. You can do that using you know, the Python command if you want to. And you know, it's still a great way to go about things and have that in your toolbook. But for the purpose of this video, we want to get it working so it's all done within VS Code. To do that, go to extensions. You can go to it here or go to view extensions. And so if I go over here, type in Python. We want the one from Microsoft. Usually there will be an install button here. So if I uninstall it, I'll reinstall it so you guys can see you know, the whole process. I, you know, I like to show as much as possible. There we go. There wasn't anything to it. Click Explorer. Now, create a new file. I'm going to call it main.py. And that's it. Little thing, if you go down to here to the version, click that. Select the latest version. I've got a couple of older versions. They're just remnants from, you know, when I've installed Python before or Python using some other tool. That's fine. Just select the latest version that's, you know, on there and it is recommended. And now if I was to, you know, put a print command, I'm not, not going to put any semicolons at the end because I'm only doing one line on this particular um, code line on, one, on this line. Hello world. Save it. And if I click the run, Open the terminal. There we go. Hello world. And if I was to duplicate it, and say it is almost Christmas, and run that. There we go. It is almost Christmas as well. So that's it. It's that simple to install and set up Python on your Mac so you can code in VS Code. Like I said, I'll have separate videos for Windows and Linux. Let me know what other setup videos in VS Code and in general you would like to see, and I'll do my best to create them. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. If you want to help the channel out, join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. Where there's over 8,000 members, everyone helping each other. Little cool community, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.